Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Niambi. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be doing this soft glam look using mostly high-end products. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep on watching. But before we get into it, make sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I heard there's a thing called post notifications. So if you haven't, click that bell to make sure that you're notified every time I upload. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna get started by priming my eyelid just with the Tarte Shape Tape. I prefer to prime with a concealer just because I feel like it gives you more of a flawless, even canvas for the eyeshadow. And also I've been noticing that I have veins on my eyelids. So I feel like it also conceals veins. So then I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture palette. Um, this palette is so beautiful. I've had it for a few months now. I remember when it first came out, I wanted it so bad and Sephora was out of it. So when they got it back in stock, I was like, what time do they open? Because I'm gonna be the first person in line and literally I was. So this is how it looks. So beautiful, bunch of neutrals, nudes, and then some really pretty shimmers. So I'm gonna get started with the shade Eccentric. And I'm just gonna take that in my crease with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna place it down in my crease. So again, my normal technique, I'm packing the product on and then blending it out in circular and windshield wiper motions. I don't know about you guys, but I do my makeup significantly less now with the pandemic since I'm not really going anywhere. I'm working from home. I don't really do my makeup. Even like for Zoom meetings, I might put some concealer on, but even that is like a very huge mite. So let me know down below if you guys are still doing makeup on a daily basis. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side taking my time to build that color up and blending it out. So I'm gonna take the shade Transcend now. I'm just gonna start building that on the outer corner for a little bit more depth. These shadows are so pigmented and so creamy and so easy to work with. So I recommend this palette 100%. I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Now I'm just gonna take a very precise pencil brush and take the shade Mink a little bit in the outer corner some more to deepen that up some more. And I'm focusing this more towards the lash line than anything else because I don't want it to overpower the look but I still want like a little bit more depth and literally that's all I'm gonna do like just a little bit deeper down here on the lash line area see like I put too much on this one so now I need to take some time to blend this out so I'm gonna go back in with the um Transcend shade and like blend over that because I don't want this to be like too dark. So I'm not adding any more of that mink shadow. I'm just going in to try to blend it out some more. Okay, that's so pretty. I'm loving it, you guys. And now I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna take this Alamar Cosmetics brush. It's like a domed packing brush almost. And I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Fix Concealer in the shade Tan. So this is a lighter concealer. I mean, it says the shade Tan, but I'm like, so I'm just really just packing this about one third of my lid because I still want this darker Transcend and Mink color to come through. Might have put a little bit too much concealer, so I'm gonna have to take my time to even that out some. 
So now I'm just patting it down to even it out a little bit. And so now that I have my cut crease, um, I'm gonna take the shade Lavish, which is a very pretty like goldy, but green type of shimmer. And I'm just using my finger. I am gonna take a pencil brush and go back in with Eccentric and clean this line up a little bit because I don't want it to be so harsh and noticeable. I'm gonna take the shade Supreme. I'm gonna take it on a different finger and I'm just gonna add that to the outer cut crease area. I'm gonna overlap the two a little bit just so we can have more of a seamless type of blend. And I love this. And then taking a little bit more of Transcend, I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more as well. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So just cutting my crease and adding those shadows. Curling my lashes for some mascara. So I'm taking the Air Volume Mega Lash Mascara from L'Oreal, which I've been obsessed with, you guys. If you have decent or very long lashes, like I feel like I have decent lashes, um, this is amazing. You guys need this, it is at the drugstore and you need it, point blank period. Moving on to complexion now. I'm gonna go in and prime my skin with the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Um, this is by Too Faced. And this has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. And I like to use this when my skin is dry, especially like in the winter. This is what it looks like. Not only is this a primer, but also it's moisturizing to the skin. And homegirl needs it in the winter. So this is one of my go-to primers in the winter. I think I've mentioned before that in the winter, my skin needs extra hydration, especially with having eczema. And then I'm gonna go in and spot conceal with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Caramel. This is amazing. Like once you find something good, if it's not, broke, don't fix it type stuff, you know? So I'm going in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Just taking my time to blend that out. Okay, today we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the original, not the matte formula in the shade Sand. And everything that I'm using is always listed down below in the description, so if you're like, wait, what was that? Or you didn't catch it on the screen, it is down there for you if you need to refer back. And then today I think I'm gonna go in with a brush and this is the Nazanin Kavari number no. two brush. Recently I've been liking how my skin looks after applying foundation with a brush rather than a sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Tan Golden for these under eyes, and hopefully we will have a better situation than we did in the last video. If you haven't seen my Full Face of Fenty Beauty, go check it out. I will leave it right here in the cards. It was disappointing, to say the least. All of it wasn't disappointing, but just go watch it if you're interested. So I'm gonna blend that out with my Flawless Concealer Brush. Where did that curl come from? I'm just using my brush first and then I'm gonna go over it with my sponge. All right, I'm going in with Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Honey Powder and I'm gonna take this uh, Nazanin Kavari Number no. 4 brush and just place this underneath my eye. All right, so I placed that same translucent powder everywhere else where I placed that concealer. And now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 310. And I'm placing that everywhere else. 
taking it a little bit above where I place that Laura Mercier powder as well. And this is also a Nazanin Kavari brush number one. I love these brushes if you haven't noticed. And they're super affordable on Beige Cosmetics. I can leave the name of the set down below as well. Last I checked, they were sold out, but I did see that Ulta had them for a little bit too. I'm not gonna go in with cream bronzer at all today. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of like a contour with the uh, Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie shade. This is a little bit too dark to like bronze with, but it's good for me to contour ever so slightly with, like very lightly with. Just to like chisel out the cheeks a little bit. I do find like cream contours are so much better to chisel out the cheeks, but this also works really well. And then I'm going in with the Positions Formula Whaley Collab. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if the Cheek Hugging Bronzer Brush actually works for powders. Okay, so I just washed that like last night and it's still a little bit wet, so we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use the Contour Brush from the Nazanin Kavari set. I've been loving lately a bronzer with more sheen, especially like in the winter because in Minnesota, we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. So I'm like, make me glowy on top of like highlight and stuff. This palette actually has blushes and highlighters. So I think I'm gonna go in with the Wildflower shade. Just cleaned off that same brush and I'm just gonna add that to the cheeks and bring it up a little bit. And why not try the highlight in this palette? So I'm gonna go in with this highlight down here called Golden Hour on a Nazanin brush. Oh, I think you have to build it up if you want like more of a blinding highlight, but I think it's pretty. It's definitely like a pinky golden shade. I like that you have to build it up because then like if you want more of a natural highlight, you can have more of a natural highlight. If you want more of a blinding highlight, you can have more of a blinding highlight. Picking a little bit down my nose because I don't contour my nose. So this gives like the illusion that there's a contour. I don't contour my nose because I haven't mastered it. And also I'm just trying to like master some nose self love. So now we're jumping back into the Supreme Nude palette and we're gonna hit up these lower lashes. And I think I'm just gonna take a mix of the eccentric and transcend shade and smudge them on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna start first with eccentric. Just gonna add a little bit of transcend on the outer portion of it. And then in the waterline, I'm going in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Dirty Talk. And then I'm just gonna hit everything with my sponge just to make sure like everything's blended out and we are looking good. I'm gonna take this headband off. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cork. This needs to be sharpened, but I don't have a sharpener near me, so we're gonna make it work. And then I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipstick in Power Play. Just gonna add some of this. It feels really good, and I really like it with the Cork Lip Pencil from MAC. And now I'm just gonna set my face with the Airbrush Flawless Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Let me know what you guys think about this look. I'm like really loving the eye look. If you can, you should go pick up this palette because it performs really well and it's like a great everyday palette, but also you can get soft glam looks, glam looks. You can do so much with this palette. I know that we used a lot of high-end products today, but this girl, you need this. I don't know what kind of juju they put in this, but I'm living for it. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, 
please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel and also click the bell right next to the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you every time I post which right now is only Sundays at noon but who knows I may start posting more so you won't want to miss it have a good rest of your day and we will catch you in the next one bye